Hi guys, it's Julie and that guy Mike. Actually, that guy Mike's not even with me in the store, but you get to say hi right now. <laughs> he is with me for this intro video because it's being filmed later because I already went shopping. So I already know if this Goodwill did me good. So, but I'll let you find out right now. Goodwill, do me good. Goodwill, goodwill, do me good. Goodwill. By the way, who's Will? This video will be a bit different today. As you can see, I am trying out an AI voiceover. It is just for this video, and we will be back to our normal human voices next time. For now, let's have fun and try it out. Oh, what is this? Look at this metal art piece. I think it's a vintage wrought iron hanging sign. Let's pull it out here and take a look. It says love inside a heart with wings. I feel like that is a desired style and subject matter. If we can just focus on the price here, there we go. $5.99, that's a really good price. Let's get it. Here's a pioneer woman canister. Pioneer Woman is my weakness. I just love the colors and florals. But a single canister for $7.99, I don't think it's good for resale, as much as I love it. But let's double check how much it sells for, using the search tool in the eBay app. Here's some listed, but not sold, for only $10 to $20. Let's see if any have sold. I don't see any exact sold comps, so we are going to leave it here. Let's keep looking. This is gorgeous. You can tell it's made by an artist. I am definitely going to look this up. So sweet. There are some small chips in this floral headdress. I wonder if that is why it is marked as is. I will look more carefully in a moment. First I want to look at this creature. It looks like a jaguar with inlaid stones. $15. Oh no, this one says, as is, as well. Quite intricate. Notice that handwritten capital are on the tag? We will talk about what I learned that means in a minute. Look at this fellow. He appears hand-carved. He's very lightweight. It looks signed, but I can't see what it says under the tag. I do like him. Very folk art. But I am not sure of his value. Oh, I like how these little Uncle Sam figures look. They look vintage and hand-painted. I wonder how much they cost. Okay, $4.99. Just for one. Oh. It's a candle holder. I will take them and have a look up, especially since 4th of July is just a couple months away. It looks like we have some birds and a frog here. I've sold one of these beadworks animals before. It still has its tag. $4.99. I think there is still room for resale here. I know there are collectors of both beadwork animals and of frogs. Unfortunately, these birds are just a little too chipped up on their noses. That's too bad. My eye is drawn to this pretty orange vase. I think it is probably modern, but this is a gorgeous color orange. I don't think it has much value and would be expensive to ship. But I do love that. I see a few things here. First, this little angel figurine holding a love sign. The glaze is really nice and reminds me of more expensive figurines. She's only $2.99, and I think she will have appeal. Let's put her down for a moment to look at some very sparkly things. Oh! Hand-blown art glass paperweights are my number one favorite find. This one has control bubbles, and is Mikasa, quite beautiful for $5.99. There's that R on the tag again. We will definitely get that. 
Next, let's look at another hand-blown art piece. It's just a simple ornament, but with the blue pattern in it, it really makes it beautiful. I really like it for $1.99, and I think it would really sparkle under the lights of a tree. We will add that to our small pile of trinkets here. Down here I spot just a linen bag, but I am curious what is in it. Olivia Regal. Let's open it up. Look at these crystals. I am already excited. I think it's a compact. It's really nice inside. I can't believe it was just sitting here hiding in the little bag, which was a bit dirty. Beautiful find, and I can't wait to see if there is value here. I don't think anyone used this little mirror compact, it still has the liner here. Another mystery R, on the tag. $4.99 is a definite yes. I am spotting something vintage. Just ducky. A little duck doll in her green dress. She is really cute. She's 1992 vintage and just $3.99. Oh, and she stands, too. I see she is a collectible made in Laguna Beach, California. Love her so much. We need to find her a good home. She's coming with me. Here's a green swirl art glass vase. I always check the bottom first for the pontal or base. It is not smooth, which means it is not high quality. And the glass does not have a high quality brilliance to it either. It's too bad, because the color is pretty, and the shape is nice too. Back on the shelf for this one. I am always looking for single salt or pepper shakers to make my hat pin holders out of. However, I just don't feel inspired with this one. He's funny, but most of my designs are either elegant or more kitschy. This is a cute figurine, but more modern. It looks like it was from Kohl's, originally $12.99, and made to look vintage, perhaps. This yellow glass flower does not have high value, but these make really beautiful pieces to put on your vanity, maybe on a tray next to your perfumes or jewelry. I think I will pick it up for just 99 cents. I really like these vintage napkin rings, but I don't think I have time to clean them from these frustrating permanent marker prices they write right on the item and list them before Easter. They are really cute and I love how they bobble. But they are also an odd color combination, wow, and $1.99 each, and probably missing several. I always stop to look at a good cat, and this one is so cute. It's a little knitted ornament, but a bit pricey at $2.99, at least for resale. It looks like she is from Target. I like her style, but not sure she will stay in my cart at $2.99. Here's another single vintage salt shaker. Now this one I can get behind. $2.99. It does seem vintage, from Japan. I imagine hat pins in it that are sparkly yellows and I think I even have a sparkly lemon wedge pendant that will make a great pin. It looks like we have more napkin rings, a set of four. Two blue ones here. And just one yellow and one purple. Too bad because these would be gorgeous on white napkins. I thought I found vintage ephemera here. But it's a card of some sort, made to look vintage. It does come with a sparkly tiara pin, which is sweet. They are asking $4.99, which I thought was high, but wow. Look at that original price. $22.99. I wonder if I should look this up. Here's what looks to be a vintage box with a Victorian type doll in it. 2004 Victorian Tassel Doll by Popular Creations. $8.99 and I know nothing about it. I will have to look this one up. I just noticed she is on a little stand. That is always great for collectors. Let's look her up on eBay. Here's a few listed around $20 to $25. 
But look, the sold comps are even lower. I am just going to put her back on the shelf, right now. Because $8.99 is just too much for resale. Let's see what's in this nice wooden box. It looks like a game. I love games. It has instructions inside. Shut the box. This looks like a dice game. $4.99. Okay, stop the video. Goodwill, why in the world are you marking the top of this box with permanent marker? I still want the game, and will try some lemon essential oil or hand sanitizer to remove the marks. I just really don't understand this practice of marking items, especially on the top. Okay, let's keep going. Oh my goodness, look up here. Another amazing cat find. This is a hand-painted terracotta pottery cat, made in Mexico. I love this folk art scene and the colors are amazing. It is in great condition for $12.99 and not too heavy to ship. This is a great find and I think it will sell well, and look at this bird right here. Oh, I wish it wasn't marked Acapulco. That makes it more of a tourist piece, rather than a collector's piece, and is harder to sell. Look at this, another unique pottery piece, $12.99, I hope my friend Danny the Niche Lady sees this. There's an artist mark here, and made in Mexico. This is gorgeous. This is an interesting piece by Grace T. Ware, $4.499. Another tag marked with I R. <laughs> I believe it may be a jam bowl. And right next to it, I can't resist the little bunny shakers for a pin display project. I am taking this all with me. This is a heavy-duty citrus juicer. Goodwill is asking $19.99, but I want to tell you now what I learned about the R marked on the tags. In the store, a Goodwill store manager told me the R stood for rejected. As you may know, Goodwill now has a large online presence, where they sell higher-valued items on auction, commanding much higher prices than they would get in the thrift store. Goodwill puts aside perceived high-value items and researches value. If the item does not make the cut for their online store, the item is rejected, marked with an R, and sent to the shelves for us to find. At first, this may seem that the item must not have a very high value, if it was rejected, but valuable items certainly make it through the cracks. Take a look at this rejected item from today's haul and what the actual value ended up being. A beautiful Olivia Regal piece valued around $50. I was sitting in my car after this great thrifting haul and decided to look up the carved folk art figure I left on the shelf. I started to see some high value comps and realized I may have made a mistake. I reviewed my video footage for an artist's mark and to see where I had left him. I quickly run back into the store to the aisle I left him, to see if he might still be there. And there he was. I am so glad to see him after I discovered these hillbilly carvings are quite collectible and can be highly valuable. Well that's a wrap of this shopping trip. By the way, would you do us a favor if you like thrifting content or you dislike that guy Mike a lot, would you press the subscribe button? give us a thumbs up and comment what was your favorite item that I found in the store today. We really appreciate it. See you guys on the next one. See you guys. I hoped you enjoyed this video. If you see anything you would like to buy, email us with your offer at onewayvintageoc at gmail.com. See you on the next one when our regular human voices return. And don't forget to subscribe. It's the best way to say thanks.